paragraph 568 and the last head word was get on well or get along well is that correct yes correct all right are you ready yes all right now let us let me just go on go through the textbook can you j wait for uh, just for a moment All right, now l let us start the daily revision. Please close your book. Okay. Yes. Great. Now, about how much does your book weigh? About how much does your book weigh? My book weighs about... My book weighs about 200 grams. Very good. What does it mean? You can't have your cake and eat it. What does it mean? You can't have your cake and eat it. The meaning of you can't have of, your cake you can't and eat it your cake is that sometimes it. you have sometimes to choose between you have to having choose one thing or another thing, thing because you another cannot thing have everything you, you want. Cannot have everything you want. Perfect. Are you the kind of person who puts home comforts before everything else? Are you the kind of person who puts home comforts before everything else? Yes, no. No. I'm not the kind of person. I'm not the kind of person who puts home comfort before everything, comfort else. Before everything else. Very good. Why or why not? Why or why not? Because. Because uh, there, are there are more, more important, important thing, things in life. What a thing in life. Not thing things. Think in life. Not think hmm? things. 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 Very things. Good. That's right. Very good. Now let's have the next. What do you do when you want to relax? What do you do when you want to relax? When I want to relax, I. When I, I want to relax, I read a book. That's great. If you could be in the audience at any concert, who would you like to see? If you could be in the audience at any concert, who would, who would you like to see? If I could be in the audience, if I could be in the audience at like any concert. I I don't hmm? I'd like I to see. I'd like to I'd like to see SMAP. All right, very good. Now what's the comp what's the most common way to move liquid or gas from one place to another? What's the most common way to move liquid or gas from one place to another the most common way the most common way or gas to move liquid or gas to from one place is to another pipe. is through a pipe very good can you see any pipes in that room can you see any pipes in that room yes no no i can't see any i can't pipes see in this room. any pipes in this room perfect do you know anyone who smokes a pipe do you know anyone who smokes a pipe yes no no, I don't know anyone. I don't know who anyone who smokes a pipe. Very good. What's the use of a chimney? What's the use of a chimney? The use of a chimney. The use of a chimney is to carry the smoke, from, carry a the smoke out of a building. from a fire out of building. Out of a building and into out of the air. a building and into the air. Very good. Now give me sentences showing the two meanings of the word cry, please. Give me sentences showing the two meanings of the of the word cry please the film was so, the was film so sad was so that the girl cried the whole time the girl cried the whole time. time be careful how you cross the be road be careful how you cross the, the road mother cried. the child's mother cried very good what's the difference between the present perfect and the past simple what's the difference between the present perfect and the past simple the difference between the, difference the present between perfect the present and the past perfect simple and the past simple the is that we perfect. use the present when we perfect are thinking about when we are thinking time about and up time to before and up to now whereas we use the past whereas simple we use the when past we are simple thinking about a we are thinking past about, time. Uh, about a, a specific, specific a specific past type time. Past time. past time good give me an example of each please give me an example of each please i have been here I for 20 minutes here for 20 i arrived minutes. here 20 I minutes arrived ago here 20 minutes ago good job why do we say i ate eggs for breakfast today and not i have eaten eggs for breakfast today why do we say i ate eggs for breakfast today and not i have eaten eggs for breakfast today we say i ate eggs we say for breakfast i ate today, eggs for and breakfast not, today I and not i have eaten today. eggs for breakfast today because we are thinking about what happened at the specific time, at the specific time. time 
breakfast time. We are not thinking about now. We are not thinking about now. Very good. Which of these two sentences is correct? John got up quite late today or John has got up quite late today? Which of these two sentences is correct? John got up qu quite late today or John has got up quite late today? Of those two sentences, of those two John sentences, got up quite John late got today up quite late correct. today is correct. Very good. Why? Why? Because we are thinking because about we what are thinking about as, what happened pastime. at a specific pastime. Specific, not specific. Specific, specific pastime. Specific pastime. The time when John got up. The time when John got up. Very good. Did you have a big breakfast today? Did you have a big breakfast today? Yes, no. No. I didn't have a I big didn't breakfast have today. I didn't have a big breakfast today. Perfect. What time did you come here today? What time did you come here today? I came here at? I came here at 8 p.m. today. 8 p.m. today. Very good. Now, what does the idiom let someone down mean? What does the idiom let someone down mean? The idiom let someone down The idiom means let someone, someone down someone mean who is fear someone on us. who is depending on us. Very good. Give me an example, please. Give me an example, please. Everyone was depending Everyone on him. Everyone was depending on him. But he let, them down, but he not his let them down by not keeping his promise. Very good. Now, give me some examples of adverbs of frequency. Give me some examples of adverbs of frequency. Some examples of adverbs some examples of, of adverbs are of never, frequency are never rarely, occasionally, rarely, occasionally, sometimes, often, sometimes usually, often, and always. usually, in always, not in and always, and always. Perfect. Where do these adverbs normally go? Where do these adverbs nor normally go? These adverbs these normally adverbs go after, normally the, go first after the first auxiliary verb. Good. Give me an example, please. Give me an example, please. We had never seen we that had film never seen before that it was film shown before on television. It, it, it is shown. Not it is. It was, it shown. was shown on television. It was shown on television. Good job. Put the word usually in this sentence, please. She can answer his questions. She can answer. Yeah. Put oh, okay. the word usually in this sentence, please. She can answer his questions. She can usually. She can usually answer, his, answer questions. his questions. Great. Put the word always in this sentence, please. We spend the Christmas holidays with our family. Put the word always in this sentence, please. We spend the Christmas holidays with our family. We always spend. We the always. Spend Christmas holidays with our family. Good job. Put the word often in this sentence, please. They don't go swimming. Put the word often in this sentence, please. They don't go swimming. They don't often. They don't go often go swimming. Perfect. Put the word also in this sentence, please. You must study in class and you must practice your English outside the lesson. Put the word also in this sentence, please. You must study in class and you must practice your English outside the lesson. You must study in class. You must study you must in class and you English must also practice your English outside the lesson. Outside the lesson. Great job. Put the word even in this sentence, please. I can't boil an egg. Put the word even in this sentence, please. I can't boil an egg. I can't even. I can't an even egg. boil an egg. Perfect. How can oil be transported from one part of a country to another? How can oil be transported from one part of a country to another? Oil can be transported. Oil from can one be transported from one place to for another. On hmm? lorries. One One part for, from one part of the country, of country to another on lorries to another on lorries or through very big pipes or through very big pipes. Very good. Is oil used a lot in cooking in your country? Is oil used a lot in cooking in your country? Yes, no. No. Oil isn't used a oil lot isn't in used cooking a lot in, my in my in cooking in my country. Good uh great job. Next What is the verb and the noun for the adjective hot? What is the verb and the noun for the adjective adjective hot? The verb and the noun the for verb the adjective and noun hot for is the adjective heat. hot is heat. Very good. Now, do you prefer the heat of the summer rather than the cold of the winter? Do you prefer the heat of the summer rather than the cold of the winter? Yes, no. No. I don't prefer the heat of I the don't summer prefer rather the heat than of summer the cold of the rather winter. than the cold of winter. The winter. The winter. 
Good. Why or why not? Why or why not? Because I don't like much heat. I don't like much uh, hot heat. Heat. Okay. Too much sorry. heat. I don't like too much heat. I see it very. Too good. much heat. That's great. Now, how is that room heated? How is that room heated? This room is heated. This room by is heated gas by fires, radiators, gas fires, fires etc. Electric fires, etc. Great. In your country, which is cheaper, central e sorry, central heating or electric fires. In your country, which is cheaper, central heating or electric fires. In my country. In my country, central heating is cheaper than is cheaper than electric fires. Electric fires. Very good. All right, now let's move on. When you lack sufficient money to buy something, do you wait and save money or do you buy it on credit? When you lack sufficient money to buy something, do you wait and save money or do you buy it on credit? When I lack sufficient money, when I lack of to buy sufficient money, I buy something. I uh, I wait. Wait to save. I wait to. I wait and save money. And save money. Great. Why? Why? Because uh, it's good for me. That's great. Why? What do you think your town is lacking in more than anything else? What do you think your town is lacking in? Lacking in more than anything else? I think my town I is lacking in. My town is lacking in with parks. Is. Huh? Is. I think my town is lacking. I in think my. My town is lacking in parks. Parks, I see more than anything else. More than anything else. Very good. Is there a serious lack of food in some countries in the world? Is there a serious serious lack of food in some countries in the world? Yes. There's a yes. serious lack there of food. Serious in some lack of food in, the world. in some countries in the world. Perfect. Great. Now, who's your neighbor in that room? Who's your neighbor in that room? My neighbor in this room My neighbor is... in this room is Keiko. Keiko. Great. Why do you think it is that some people just don't get on well with their next door neighbors? Why do you think it is that some people just just don't get on well with their neighbor with their next door neighbors? I think the reason I that think some people the reason just don't get some on people well is with don't their get on well with next door neighbors we can choose our is friends. that you can choose some our Nothing friends. We can choose our friends. We can choose but can our choose friends, our neighbors. but cannot choose our neighbors. Very good. Do you ever go to a neighboring town to do some shopping? Do you ever go to a neighboring town to do some shopping? Yes, no? Yes. I sometimes go to I a sometimes neighboring go town to, to do some a neighborhood shopping. town. Not neighborhood, to neighboring. Neighboring, neighboring town, town. To do some shopping. To do some shopping. Good. Why or why not? Why or why not? Because uh, there are good shops. There are good shops there. Great. Now, which do you think is the most pleasant neighborhood in that town? Which do you think is the most pleasant neighborhood in that town? I think. I think Himeji City is the most pleasant. The most pleasant in this town. Neighborhood in this town. Great job for that. Um, our, all right, Kayo, uh, we are done with our your daily revision, and this time let's have your new work. Okay, but before okay. we have uh, your new work, can, let us do this last question of paragraph 568. Please answer. Sorry, are there a, are there quite a few shops in the neighborhood of this school? Are there quite a few shops in the neighborhood of this school? Yes, no. No, there aren't many shops. Yeah, uh, many shops in the neighborhood of this. In school. the neighborhood of this school. Good job. Repeat Bible. Bible. Okay, Bible. Bible. Listen, Bible is a noun. It is the holy book used in the Christian Christian religion. Great. Now let's practice. What's the name of the holy book for Christians? What's the name of the holy book for Christians? The name of the holy book. The name for of Christians the holy book is the Bible. For Christian is the Bible. Not Christian. Christians is the Bible. Christians is the Bible. Perfect. Repeat. March. March. Order. Order. Tiring. Tiring. Listen. March is a verb. It means. To walk with a careful short steps in a regular rhythm. Order is a noun. It means the way in which a set of things is organized. 
sorry, tiring is an adjective. When something is tiring, it causes someone to feel tired. For example, soldiers march because marching helps maintain order and also because it's faster and less tiring. Let's practice. Why do soldiers march? Why do soldiers march? Soldiers march because soldiers march marching because helps maintain marching are uh, maintain orders helps maintain order helps helps maintain order and also because it's and faster also because and less tiring it's faster and less tiring very good please repeat bloody bloody listen bloody is an adjective it means with much loss of life and many serious injuries for example i think the battle of um Santa, i don't know how to pronounce this but santa lingrad was the bloodiest battle in history let's practice which do you think was the bloodiest battle in history which do you think was the bloodiest battle in history i think i think uh, World War II was the bloodiest, was battle, the bloodiest in battle in history. Very good. Please repeat. Wicked. Wicked. All right. Listen. Wicked in a, is an adjective. It is the synonym of evil. For example, Adolf Hi Adolf Hitler was wicked. Let's practice. Who do you think is the most wicked person alive today? Who do you think is the most wicked person alive today? I think... I think... Um, Mr. X. Mr. X? X. <laughs> I, I don't know. I see. Is the most wicked person alive today? Is the most wicked today. person alive today. Very good. Why? Why? Mm, because... He killed mm, many he, people. He, yes, <laughs> he killed many people. Right. Very good. Now, repeat importance. 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 Thank you. Listen, importance is a noun. It means the value of something. For example, I know the importance of being honest. Let's practice. Do you think parents should teach their children about the importance of being honest? Do you think parents should teach their children about the importance of being honest? Yes, I think parents, yes, should, I think teach parents should teach about their the children of being honest. By importance about the importance about of being honest. importance to be honest. Not to be of being honest. Of being honest. Honest, very good. Now repeat anymore. Anymore. Listen, anymore is an adverb which is usually used in negative sen sen or statements and in questions. For example, what do you do with clothes that you don't wear anymore? I give away clothes that I don't wear anymore. Let's practice. What do you do with clothes that you don't wear anymore? What do you do with clothes that, it, that you don't wear anymore? I throw. My I, throw I throw away my clothes. clothes. I throw my, away. Clothes I throw away clothes, clothes that I don't wear anymore. That I don't wear anymore. Great. Repeat a faithful. A faithful. Listen, faithful is an ad adjective. Faithful means having firm and not changing relationship with someone. For example, dogs are faithful to their to their own owners. Let's practice. Are dogs very faithful to their owners? Are dogs very faithful to their owners? Yes, dogs are yes, very faithful. Dogs are to very their faithful owners. to their owners. Very good. Repeat plain. Plain. A taste for. A, t a taste for. Good. Now listen. Plain can be a noun or an adjective. As a noun, it means a large area of flat lands without trees. For example, it's easier to grow food on a plain than on a mountain. As an adjective, plain means with nothing added. It is a synonym of ordinary. For example, plain clothes, plain food, etc. Most policemen wear uniforms, but there are some who don't. They are plain clothes policemen who do detective work. A taste for is an idiom, which means a want for a particular food, drink, things, ex experience, etc. Now let us practice. Is it easier to grow food on a plain than on a mountain? Is it easier to grow food on a plain than on a mountain? Yes, it's easier. Yes, it is easier to grow food than on a plain 
down on a mountain. Great. Why? Why? Because the Earth on because a plane. The, the because earth the of Earth of the plane on a plane is usually deeper. It's usually cheaper. Not cheaper, deeper and richer. Deeper and richer. Very good. All right. Let me just um, cut of, cut uh, cut you off there. Um, Kayo, because we have few a few minutes left. Okay, we finish until this paragraph, paragraph five hundred seventy. Okay, last head okay. word is okay. A taste for yes, and please start reading from from paragraph five hundred forty four after the head word pyramid. Pyramid. Okay. Yes. Um, fed up, bored and tired. What does the idiom fed up mean? The idiom bored uh, the the idiom fed up means bored and tired. Mm -hmm. Give me an example, please. I'm just fed up with everything. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. So would I. Neither can be. Neither can he, mm -hmm. nor should they. And when do we put the word so, neither or no at the beginning of a sentence? Mm -hmm. We put the word so, neither or no when uh, at the beginning of a sentence when someone makes a statement and we want to reply that the same situation is true for us or somebody else. Mm -hmm. If someone tells you that they would like some coffee and you would also like some coffee, what can you reply? If someone tells me that they would like some coffee and I would also like some coffee, I can reply, so would I. If someone tells you that they couldn't sleep last night and you couldn't sleep mm -hmm. either, what can you reply? If someone tells me that they couldn't sleep last night and I couldn't sleep either, I can reply, neither could I or no could I. Mm -hmm. How do we make this kind of short reply? We make this kind of short reply by using the word so, neither, or no, and by putting the auxiliary verb before the subject. Auxiliary. 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 Auxil. Auxiliary. 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 Better. Great. Continue. If there is no auxiliary, Mm -hmm. Verb. Which verb do we use? If there is auxiliary verb, we use do in the short reply. Reply to the following statements as if the same situation is true for you. I can speak English, so can I. English. I would go English, so can I. Uh, I won't go there, neither will I. I am a student, so am I. I haven't got a car, neither have I. My mother lives a long way from here, so does mine. My best friend doesn't smoke, no does mine. What do I mean if I say I can speak French and so can my mother? If you say I can speak French and so can my mother, you mean that you can speak French and your mother can speak French too. Bit. Although sweets aren't good for the health, is it okay to have a bit of chocolate sometimes? Yes, although sweets aren't good for the health, it's okay, okay to have a bit of chocolate sometimes. If you are an employer and one of your employees found you to say that employees. Not employees, employees. Why? Yeah. Employees. Employees found you to say that they were feeling a bit ill. Would you think that was a good enough reason for them not to come to work? Yes, if I were an employer and one of your employees found you found me to say that they were feeling a bit ill, mm -hmm. I'd think that was a good enough reason for them not to come to work. Snack. What is a snack? A snack is a small problem. Give me an example, please. I need to send him an email, but there's just one snack. My Wi-Fi isn't working. Defeat. Election, politics. Is, is your country usually defeated at football? Mm -hmm. Yes, my country is usually defeated at football. Mm -hmm. Do you know which political party suffered 
defeat in the last elections in your country?、Mm -hmm. Yes, I know which political party suffered defeat in the last elections in you, my country. All right. Please. Let me just cut you off there, Keo, because、mm, we have a、okay. few seconds left.、Mm. All right, you did a very good job. Here's my feedback. I think that、uh, you have a great listening skill. You make sure that you answer in the same grammar structure, and that's very good. Thank you.、And、Thank you. Keep on practicing, Keo. Goodbye.、Mm. Have a nice day.、Yes. Oh, good night. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's all for today's lesson. So, thank you for watching my YouTube. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, guys. And, yeah. Oh! Thank you so much. Bye bye.